Okay, today we're going to take a look at a couple of examples of bioretention re areas. Bioretention re areas, sometimes called rain gardens, are meant to capture run stormwater runoff at or near the, the source of that run run runoff. Uh, these areas can be either natural uh, depressions that were already existing in the, the la landscape or they can be designed features. The goal of bioretention re areas is, is, is to capture and temporary, temporary store runoff, allowing it to infiltrate into the ground and it's as that water infiltrates that, that the pollutants are, are treated. In this particular example, we have an existing de depression that they, they, they chose to leave when they built this house. Uh, and what, they, what they, they did is that they kept this area from being d disturbed but for, by work trucks that, 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 that might drive across and compact the uh, soil, therefore uh, allowing the soil to, to keep its infiltration cap capacity and not become compacted. Uh, in this particular ex example, this bioretention re area accepts all of the runoff that's going to come off the roof of this house. All, the, all that water is going to come, come down. As it hit, hits the bioretention re, re, area, its velocity is going to slow down and sediments are going to be, be, be able to settle out. The water may puddle in this area for, 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 for some period after the storm event, but during that time the water is going to be allowed to infiltrate in, into the soil and it's as that water infiltrates that the pollutants that are dissolved in the water will be re removed by either being absorbed to, to the soil, uh, degraded by my, microbes, or taken up by, by, by the plants. Uh, Bioretention re areas are usually meant to capture the first flush of runoff. This example is a little bit different because it's big enough to, to handle all of the runoff that's coming off this roof. For smaller bioretention re areas meant to just capture the first flush of runoff, the first flush of runoff typically, typically contains the most pollutants because that, that have de been deposited since the last storm event. Uh, the smaller bioretention re areas will usually have some type of, of overflow where, where water uh, above that first flush is allowed to drain and not flood the, the area. We're here in the parking lot of the, the O'Connell Center at the University of Florida. Right be, behind me is Ben Hill Griffin Stadium, also known as the swamp where the Florida Gators play on Saturdays. Uh, what we have here is an example of a bioretention re re area in this parking lot within the parking lot island. Uh, interestingly, this was probably built before the term bioretention was ever coined, but really what you can see is that they, they took advantage of the available space to use it to treat st their, their stormwater runoff. Here you, you can see that the runoff comes in through these curb, curb cuts, comes into this center island, which is the uh, depression where the, where the water, that, that first flush of runoff is, is allowed to infiltrate into the ground, the sediment is able to settle out, and only once the water raises above a few inches does it start to, to flow into this storm grate here and into the university's central stormwater. Uh, what's interesting about the university's central stormwater is that it's really just a connection of pipes that leads directly to Lake Alice here on, on campus. So the, the ability to, to reduce the volume of runoff coming off this parking lot and treat that first flush of, of pollut pollutants really keeps that, that first flush of pollutants out of the, the lake here, here, here on campus. Uh, what's also interesting about this particular site is that while this area looks like it was built when they first built this parking lot, it actually shows a very good op opportunity where you can go back in and retrofit other parking lot islands islands. Uh, by merely creating a deep depression within the island, uh, putting in curb, curb cuts, you, you already have a bioretention area that, that can treat some of the stormwater runoff from that parking lot. Bioretention areas are very effective in capturing and treating that first flush of, of runoff and keeping it out of the conventional stormwater system. They can be either natural existing de depressions or, or, or they can be engineered features just like the one we we see here. They're also very effective in retrofit a a applications and can be put in to, to, to make use of the available space. Uh, that ends this section on bioretention re areas. My name is Chris Martinez, Department of Agricultural and Biological Engineering at the University of Florida. 
feel free to contact me if you have any more questions on bioretention areas.